nighttime chore time and we put away the goats and it's really nice that everyone knows exactly their spot. And that's part of keeping a good routine. At the same time every night we come out, we put them away, they know exactly where to go. The non-pregnant does go to the back, the pregnant does come into the barn. You made a mess back here. Okay. And then we feed everyone. But tonight I'm gonna get out Mavis and Gertie on the stand. And then Dottie and Esther on the stand so I can see if Dottie's starting to grow an udder yet. And make sure that Mavis and Gertie are getting enough food. So I'm gonna get them out. Gertie and Mavis! Gertie! Get down, Esther, it's not your turn. Hopefully Mavis is okay. Yeah, she made it. Uh oh. There we go. Mavis, put your head in. Make sure everything's okay. Mavis is completely dry. So is Gertie. Everything looks good. I'm just gonna let them eat. And then I'll feed these guys out here. Oh, I was gonna get Dottie out though. You guys are gonna have to wait. Just a minute. Dottie! Dottie's an ear biter. Okay, I think Dottie is getting the very, very beginnings of an udder forming. So I'm just gonna trim the hair a tiny bit around. Not a lot, because I don't want her to get cold. Just enough so we can watch it come in because that's kind of fun on a first freshener. So here it is all hairy. I'm just gonna slightly trim that up. Dottie's gonna have a spotted otter. Well, here it is, guys. Dottie's teeny tiny udder is starting to come in. So cute. Looks like it's gonna be speckled. Are you done, Dottie? Okay. It's the next day. We should be seeing some real progress on the trailer today. Really? Some real progress. Real, we see real progress on the trailer every day. No, we don't. Yes, we do. So this is the goat and sheep panel uh -huh. yeah. from Wilco that yeah. we picked up. Oh, nice. Yeah. 
So this is gonna be one big area up here yeah. for the juniors or babies. Yeah. You sure you don't want to make it two? Two areas with a divider yeah. down the middle. <laughs> not really. Oh, it's too hard. I'm we can do that later. It's not too hard. This is more work. <laughs> I'd have to put another. I have to put another divider support going across here, and then I have to do another panel. More. We'll see how it works with this one. Bracketry and whatnot. Yeah, so. that's another. 50 hours. I thought we'd leave it open that way if we had little, little babies, it's easier to put a crate up here. Oh, a crate, okay. And secure the crate. Some, you know, like if, if we had little, little babies. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have the door here. We could put the crate up in here and secure the crate. I'm also thinking, oh, okay. check this out. I've got this thinking cap on, okay. I'm also thinking, what if we, what if I fabricate a little door, you know? Like I can cut these for water and stuff. Yeah, so well, why wouldn't can, you just use the front door? Then? So we can open the door and put a water bucket right here. I like these because you can hang stuff. Clip it, yeah. Or clip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whereas these you can't really clip it. Yeah. Into. Yeah. Okay, then down here there's gonna be two. Yeah. This one, will have two. A, this will have a full divider. Three. Between yeah, so one, two, three, and then the area that you're standing in four, four, four okay. sections. Noise, noise. Yeah, I need to work out for you. It's coming together now. It's coming together now. Oh, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now you see the. Now you see the vision. Now I can see. Now you see the vision. All right. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, that's tall enough, right? I don't think that we'll yeah. jump over it. No. Well, unless we get a lemon crazy up there. Uh, that was my only concern: is that somebody tries to jump over the top here. And doesn't realize that it's really far down. We'll so, see. Uh, All right. Cool. All right, I just ultrasounded Esther because I'm starting to think maybe she absorbed her pregnancy. When we ultrasounded her at about 30 days to confirm pregnancy, and I think we did another one again at about 40-ish days, we saw three sacs. But she just isn't looking she's not popping like the other goats so i thought maybe she's not bred um that's what's nice about having your own ultrasound machine is you can do a quick check whenever you want we're fortunate to have that it's uh oh look wow it's so cool you can see the bones it looks like esther is bred which is good but it looks like she only has a single, which is why she's so small still. So that explains it. So Esther's due April 9th. So she may just have the one baby in there now. So um, that might be why she's looking so small. So her and Fawn, maybe just one, might be just having singles. I don't see any other development yet. Whatsoever. We're back here, Esther. Nothing really going on. A tiny, tiny little pooch. You good? Did you eat all your food? You still have a little more? Keep eating. Girl. Alright, Esther's all done. It looks like either she has a single or she is hiding babies now because they're too big to see. But, so it'll be interesting. Judging by her size, I think she has a single. Esther, come get your cookie. Come on. There we go. Let's go back in. Let's go back. Come on. All done. Here we go. Bye bye, Esther. Get in there. Unlike Molly. Who's very large and they're not very far apart so you can definitely start to see the ones that have multiples and the ones that have singles they look very different hi Dottie and Gertie 